Hi, I'm Summer Brandon from Intel, and today we will discuss using the Open FPG Stack OFS framework as the starting point for your own Agilex FPGA-based workload design. In this video, I will give a brief overview of FPGAs, Open FPG Stack, also known as OFS, and how it can be used to create workloads. And lastly, I will discuss how to get started using OFS to develop workloads. FPGAs provide developers and engineers the ability to flexibly program and execute multiple tasks or instructions at a time. New functions and features can be reprogrammed on the FPGA to meet customer changes and updates. Designs can be migrated to newer FPGA devices as they become available, offering easy design migration. Intel provides a broad range of FPGA products that are able to meet size, performance, and power requirements of any given user. Let's quickly review a traditional FPGA development flow to better understand how OFS can help reduce development time and enable quick workload development. FPGA development has both hardware and software aspects. After defining requirements such as power, performance, and interfaces for your design, you can spend a considerable amount of time in hardware and software development. After stitching together your initial design, you can iterate through synthesis, compilation, and verification to achieve optimal routing, timing, and performance. On the software side, you may need to develop new drivers, patch drivers, and manage other aspects of the software stack, such as virtualization and orchestration. Similarly, an iterative approach must be employed to achieve optimal software operation. A design flow like this could take 9 to 12 months, but with OFS, you are provided a time enclosed, optimized reference design along with a full software stack that considerably reduces time to market. Let's talk more about OFS and what it has to offer. OFS is a software and hardware infrastructure that makes it easier for customers and partners of Intel to use Intel design boards to develop custom FPGA based platforms or workloads. OFS offers reference designs and automated build scripts for building FPGA platforms. Upstream Linux drivers enable native OS support that can be leveraged for your custom card without the need for a patch. User space tools and a software development kit can be used for further software customization. Since the source code is modular and consists of industry standard interfaces, the process of building specific solutions for applications becomes much easier. The hardware design, software code, and technical documents are all open source and accessible through GitHub. Let's review the OFS architecture in relation to workload development. OFS reference shells can be leveraged to build custom FPGA workloads. OFS has a software stack that contains kernel drivers and user space tools and libraries to leverage for your custom application. The FPJ contains two regions. First, the FIM, also known as the shell, provides an integrated time enclosed I.O. ring shown in blue here. It includes the most common interfaces used for applications such as PCIe, Ethernet, memory, debug, and QSFP controller. Second is the AFU, or the AFU region, shown in green, that provides a standard set of inputs and outputs for you to build your workload which can be ported across other OFS shell designs, enabling reusability. Workload developers have the option to choose between an RTL or one API-based design flow. FPGA design cycles can generally take 9 to 12 months, but with OFS you are provided a time close, optimized reference design, along with a full software stack that considerably reduces time to market. As mentioned in the previous slide, the workload or AFU region lies within the boundary of the FIM, with the FIM providing ARM axis standard interfaces such that workloads can't be ported across other OFS enabled FIMs or shells. Within the reference design project, platform interface modules, also known as PIMs, provide bridges to convert the standard streaming interfaces to memory mapped or Avalon based protocol for your workload IP. With OFS, you have the option to choose between building a static or PR enabled design. A static design, also known as a flat design, is generally employed when you don't expect to update or swap workloads while your system is deployed. 
A partial reconfiguration design provides the capability to swap workloads when your system is deployed remotely and allows you to update AFU region without reconfiguring your entire FPGA design. OFS provides several different features and tools for workload or AFU development, such as automated build scripts for compiling your workload, workload examples that showcase the features of the FIM and software stack, simulation support tools using Synopsys VCS and Simmons Quest simulators using our OFS OPA software development kit for hardware and software co-simulation, and remote signal type capability, which is an on-chip debugging tool that captures and displays signals inside the FPGA that can easily be enabled in your build through a macro in your Cordis settings file. The development flow for building an AFU or workload using OFS follows six general steps. To begin, you must set up your card or dev kit in a server along with the required ingredients necessary to build and test your workload, such as a compatible OS and kernel, Cordis Prime Pro software, and OFS repositories. After setup, you can build your FIM or leverage a pre-built FIM to use for your workload development. This FIM framework is then leveraged to build your AFU, providing standard interfaces. After the AFU is built, you can leverage the AFU simulation environment to check if basic workload functionality is working. If for whatever reason the AFU does not run without errors, it can be analyzed through in-system testing using remote signal tap. Before you begin working on your own workload design using OFS, you will want to evaluate what OFS has to offer. We provide an out-of-box evaluation flow for you to test our software and hardware provided ingredients. Next, you will want to practice building an example AFU to prepare for your own custom AFU development. We provide source code and build scripts to make this easier. To test drive OFS on a board, you can utilize the listed Intel Acceleration Development Platforms or access our affiliated board vendor cards. Please refer to our board catalog found on intel.com OFS. We encourage you to view the subsequent modules that follow this presentation named Evaluating OFS and Developing Workloads with OFS for more information. This concludes the training. Again, my name is Summer. Thank you and have a great day.